Wild Talents, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 18e. According to reports, in the London Daily Express, July 17th and 30th, and in the Sunday Express, August 12th, 1923, it may be thought, by anybody so inclined to think, that, in England, in the summer of 1923, an artistic magician was travelling, and exercising his talents. Somebody, or something, was perhaps impressing pictures upon wall and pillars of churches. The first report was that, on the wall of Christ Church, Oxford, had appeared a portrait of the famous Oxford cleric, Dean Liddell, long dead. Other reports came from Bath, Bristol, and Uphill, Somerset. At Bath, in the old Abbey of Bath, the picture was of a soldier, carrying a pack. The Abbey authorities scraped off this picture, but the portrait, at Oxford, was not touched. There is a description in T.P.'s and Castle's Weekly London, September 11th, 1926, of the portrait on the wall of Christ Church, Oxford, as seen three years later. It is described as a faithful and unmistakable likeness of the late Dean Liddell, who died in the year 1898. One does not need to call in play any imaginative faculty to reconstruct the head. It is set perfectly straight upon the wall, as it might have been drawn by the hand of a master artist. Yet it is not etched, neither is it sketched, not sculptured, but it is there plain for all eyes to see. And it is beginning to look as if, having started somewhat eccentrically with a story of virgins, we are making our way out of the marvellous. Now accept that there is a very ordinary witchcraft, by which, under the name telepathy, pictures can be transferred from one mind to another, and there is reduction of the preposterousness of stories of representations on hailstones, window glass, and other materials. We are conceiving that human beings may have learned an extension of the telepathic process, so as to transfer pictures to various materials. So far as go my own experiences, I do not know that telepathy exists. I think so, according to many notes that I have taken upon vagrant impressions that come and go, when my mind is upon something else. I have often experimented. When I incline to think that there is telepathy, the experiments are convincing that there is. When I think over the same experiments, and incline against them, they indicate that there isn't.